What's up guys, I'm Bob Tompkins with the Living in SC team at Real Broker and welcome back to the channel. On today's episode of Living in SC, we're gonna be talking about the top three reasons that you should be looking at moving to Fountain in South Carolina. But before we get into that, if you are thinking about making a move to the state of South Carolina or Fountain Inn, our team at the Living in SC team at Real Broker would absolutely love to help you with your move. You can reach out to us at info at livinginsc.com or you can reach out to the number listed below and we will get in touch with you, connect with you and help you with that transition. But without further ado, let's get right on in to it. Coming in at number three on the list and we'll work our way up to number one, we're gonna talk about the community. So Fountain Inn's community is one of the big reasons that you should look at moving here. Fountain Inn is built around a nice quaint downtown area. In fact, it's one of those areas that you could almost describe as Hallmark-ish. It's the type of place that you can go, walk from end to end. There's a lot of good uh, small local shops as well as some great restaurants that exist on that main drag. And the community in Fountain Inn is very close knit. You have a lot of events that happen in downtown Fountain Inn that allows for that community to be plugged in. For example, during summer, uh, they have the sounds of summer in Fountain Inn. You also have the Fountain Inn Farmer's Market that happens throughout the year on different Saturdays, which is an opportunity for the community to really come together, interact, get to know each other, and bring revenue into those downtown businesses. So if you're the type of person that's looking for a good community to plug into in one of these areas around Greenville, Fountain Inn very well could be the place for you. Coming in at number two on my list is the newly built Fountain Inn High School. Now there's no data out there even on some of the different sites like Niche and greatschools.com that provide data to the consumer on Fountain Inn High School. And because they haven't had a graduating class yet, it's hard to really say what sort of results that the school produces. However, the community of Fountain Inn has been very excited about this project for a long time. The school opened in 2021, uh, accepting their first freshman class. Those are now juniors. So starting next year, uh, the 2024-2025 year is when they will produce their first set of graduates. Uh, and then we'll start to get some data on the school. But for now, the school is one that has had a lot of investment of community time and community resources to make sure that the school has had a successful launch. And it's been one of those schools that a lot of people around the upstate of South Carolina have been excited about, people even moving to the Fountain Inn area to have their kids enrolled at Fountain Inn High School. Now, without data, there's not a whole lot I can share with you guys. However, I can share the mission statement uh, from their website. Fountain Inn High School is committed to providing students with new challenges and opportunities that go above and beyond the standard high school curriculum. They want to connect students to their community through job shadowing, service, mentoring, internships, and apprenticeships. And they want to prepare students to be college, career, and citizenship ready by offering pathways to certifications, associates, and bachelor's degrees through partnerships with upstate colleges and universities. And you can see right there, when I talk about how Fountain Inn is a community-focused community that is small town and invested in its people, you see that reflected even in their mission statement where they want their students plugged into the community and they want a pathway to having them plugged into upstate higher ed like associate degrees and bachelor degree programs with different universities. So if you're looking to get your family in a school district that focuses on innovation and is a newer school equipped with some newer resources, Fountain Inn High School may be a great reason for you to relocate to Fountain Inn. Now coming in at number one on my list and what I think is one of the biggest pluses for Fountain Inn is their location. Now, as the development of Greenville and its suburbs has continued over the years, there's been certain areas that have kind of filled up or have become more congested with their population. Examples of this are ones like Greer and Simpsonville, where there's just not a whole lot of space to continue to develop and for people to move into. That has pushed growth out into other areas, and one of those is Fountain Inn, where 15 years ago, uh, around the time that I moved to the upstate of South Carolina, there was really nothing in Fountain Inn. There used to be jokes about how no one lived there, no one knew what Fountain Inn was. 
but that is no longer the case. Because of the overflow from Simpsonville into Fountain Inn, it has become one of those hot commodities that you can't help but know about in the upstate of South Carolina. And one of the biggest reasons for that is its location. Fountain Inn is located directly off of Interstate 385, which provides really reasonable access into the downtown Greenville area. We're talking 25-ish minutes from downtown Fountain Inn, but it also offers great access to Columbia because there are some businesses uh, and people that need to be able to make the commute, not only to Greenville, but also to Columbia. And from downtown Fountain Inn, you can get into Columbia in just over an hour's time, which is great for people that need to have a commute to both areas, uh, but still wanna have good access to a small little downtown, uh, good grocery stores, the opportunity to go out to eat and shop in their local area. And this is one of the things that Fountain Inn has as a massive advantage. Not only that, because of people situationally wanting to be close to Simpsonville, Fountain Inn is geared for a lot of growth. And what that will do for you if you move to Fountain Inn, as it grows, that location is fantastic you're going to see, presumably, some equity gains on property that is purchased in Fountain Inn because the demand is so high there and not many people are wanting to leave. And whenever supply can't keep up with demand, we tend to see situations where prices of homes go up. So if you were to move to Fountain Inn now, you could sit back, relax with some relative peace of mind that your investment should improve over time. Now, once again, my name is Bob Tompkins with the Living in SC team at Real Broker. I hope that this video has been helpful and educational to you as you consider Fountain Inn. But as I said earlier in this video, if you're considering a move to Fountain Inn or another part of the state, our team at the Living in SC team at Real Broker would love to be of assistance in that move. You can reach out to us at info at livinginsc.com or you can hit us up at the number listed below. Also, don't forget to check out some of our other videos on the channel if you're considering a move here. Also hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our newest content about the state of South Carolina and our different communities. And we'll see you next time on Living in South Carolina.